day number three of 31 days to not being a girlfriend. If you want to be a wife, day number three, I am not a girlfriend. Day number three, I am not a girlfriend. Day number one, being a girlfriend is being a fake and counterfeit wife. Number two, day number two, I love myself and I want to get married. So we root out the lie and we switch right over here. We reposition, I want to get married. And so now what we're going to do is renew our minds. I'm not a girlfriend. Proverbs 18, 22 is one of my favorite scriptures. He that finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. Welcome back to church. Girls want to get married too. My name is Jim. Do you want to get married? My single girls, y'all want to get married? Okay. I want to thank you for your love and your support with my books. Remember my books are still available on Amazon in Christ. I am y'all need this book. 31 days a girl. You need this. Okay. Learn your identity in Christ. 23 tests of guys you might meet available on Amazon. Run over there to Amazon. Pick it up, girl. And the naked wife. You want to choose right so you do not end up being the naked wife. Uh, I have a new book coming out uh, this month, prayerfully, of um, not being a girlfriend if you want to be a wife. This journal comes from that book. Uh, and this is just a sample journal. Also, please remember, if you want to register for my mentorship group, I have a special for the month of January. So you need to jump on it, girl. You need to jump on this special for the month of January, so please be sure to subscribe. Email me, jansiltonblog at gmail.com, and I will make sure you get the newsletter and uh, the link to uh, registering for the class. I'm not a girlfriend. I am not a girlfriend. Why? I want to get married. Proverbs 18, 22, he that finds a wife. He that finds a wife, not a girlfriend. It didn't say he that finds a girlfriend. For those of you who, oh, you you got to be a girlfriend before your wife lies. I've been married eight years, going on, going on eight years, and I was never his girlfriend. I refused. Who told you you was a girlfriend, girl? Who told you you had to be a girlfriend before you could be some man's wife? I just want to know. Who told you? Your mama? Uh-huh. My little boys and uh-uh, we don't do girl. That's my girlfriend. That's her. Uh-uh. We don't believe that. I'm not about to plant that seed. I plant my kid's seed. Your wife and you are a husband. We talk to my little boy. When you get older and you get married and you're a husband with your wife and kids, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And so for a lot of us, especially the women of color, we were we were not raised with fathers. We were not raised in stable homes, most of us, not all of us. And we were never taught. We were never taught what the Bible says. We weren't taught to be wives. We were taught to have, be girlfriends. We were taught you don't need a man. We were taught go to school, get a degree, you don't need a man. You were We were taught you're a strong, independent black woman, you don't need a man. We were Most of us were not taught growing up to be wives, and that's why I want to root out that lying seed that you're a girlfriend, and so that you will renew your mind that you are a wife. You're a wife if you want to be married. My dad say, uh, many people think you're a wife when you get to the altar. No, you are a wife. So you walk like a wife, talk like a wife, be a wife, dress like a wife, carry yourself like a wife. I am a wife. Husbands prepare, men who prepare themselves to be husbands in this book, they are looking for wives. That's why they can't find you. Because you're shacking up with Ray Ray and Pookie. You wasting years of your life with Ray Ray and Pookie popping babies out of wedlock for Ray Ray and Pookie. Excuse me. And Boaz is out there looking for you and he can't find you. You at the mall and he's looking. He saw a pretty little flower and he said, oh, I thought that was my root. But no, it's Pookie. And Pookie is blocking you from your blessing. I am reminded of the story in the book of Genesis. This is one of my favorite stories with, with Jacob. Jacob is the father of the Jewish nation. Rebecca, her, his mother, beautiful, was married to the father Isaac. Rebecca was barren. Isaac prayed. Rebecca became pregnant, and she was pregnant with twins. The Lord said that the greater nation will rule. The, the older son uh, will serve the younger nation. And so the, the twins, Jacob and Esau, was fighting within her womb. 
And when God, when Isaac went and prayed and God said, the younger nation shall be greater than the older nation. And so when Rebecca went to give birth, Esau came out. He was red and hairy and his name was Esau or Edom. And so they put a red string on his hand to let them know that he is the oldest one because there was two babies. Jacob grabbed him as a baby in the womb and pulled him back and came out first. And that's why his name is Jacob, heel grabber, trickster. As time went on, it was time for Esau to uh, bless the older son because as the oldest son, he got a double portion. Well, Rebecca, who loved Jacob, and Esau, who and Isaac, who loved Jake, uh, Esau, Jake, Rebecca came up with the plan that they're going to trick their father because he was blind. And so what Rebecca did was killed a, an animal, made it the way Isaac loved it, put on the goats here on, on Jacob's arm and told Jacob, go serve your father so he could give you the blessing. And so that's what he did. And he said, you smell like Esau, you feel like Esau, but your voice is that of Jacob. And so when, es when I Esau came back, come to find out that J Isaac was tricked and stole the blessing from his older brother, Esau. Isaac, Esau. And so Esau said, I'm going to kill you. Soon as our father die, I'm going to kill you. And Rebecca heard, and Rebecca told Jacob, go run over to over here, Haran, with my, my brother Laban. And so Jacob had to run for his life because Esau was about to kill him because he stole his blessing. Problem with that is God had already given a word that the younger son was going to be the one that was chosen, that the older nation, the older son will serve the younger nation. They just had to do what? Wait on God. And see, a lot of you ladies are supposed to be wives. You're over here stealing blessings, being a counterfeit wife instead of waiting on God. On the way to Haram, I think it was Haram, but to see Laban, Jacob had a dream. And in the dream, heaven was open and the angels were going up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. He went to Haram. And as time will progress, Jacob decided he wanted to leave Laban because he tricked him to a whole lot of other things and he was going back to his father's land. He heard that Esau was coming with thousands of chariots and horses and Jacob remembered, oh, my brother is about to kill me because I stole his blessing. Jacob said, let me send some of my men on with some fruits and money and gold and silver to kind of calm my brother down so he don't kill me. And then Jacob sent his concubine wives. So Jacob was married to Rachel and Leah. They had concubines and he slept with them, Bilhah and Zilpah, I believe. And so guess what Jacob did? He sent the, the concubines and their, their children ahead. Mm -hmm. And then he sent Leah, the wife he didn't love ahead with her children. And then he kept Rachel and Joseph, his favorite wife and favorite son behind and left them behind. On that night, Jacob said, I'm going to spend some time with God. And Jacob was praying and an angel came to fight with Jacob. And Jacob said, I'm not going to let you go till you bless me. And the angel, which was a representation of God, said, what's your name? Huh? What is your name? And he said, my name is Jacob. Trickster, heel grabber, thief. Liar, the angel said, what's your name? He said, my name is Jacob. Liar, thief, trickster, heel grabber. And I believe the third time the angel said, what's your name? He said, my name is Jacob. 
liar. I'm a thief. I'm a heel grabber. I'm a trickster. I stole my brother's birthright. And the angel said, your name is not Jacob. Your name will no longer be Jacob. Your name will no longer be he liar, thief, trickster, and heel grabber. But he said, your name is Israel. How you will be the prince of my people. You are the father of the Jewish nation. Abraham is the father, but God blessed Jacob right there and changed his name from being a thief, a liar, a healer, a trickster, and a heel grabber. He changed his name to Israel. Do you know the children of Israel? The Jewish people, Jacob is Israel. Come on. And so for years, Jacob went around answering. Every time they say, liar, he said, yes. Thief, huh? Trickster, yes. Heel grabber, yes. And every time they call his name, he was answering and agreeing that he was these things. Time went on. Let me tell you another story. Rachel had to give birth. Something happened. The daughter of Dinah was raped and they killed the people and they were had to run. And Rachel gave birth. The baby came and Rachel was dying. She gave birth to a little boy and she, on her death breath, she said, Benoni, bitterness. Oh, and guess what Jacob said? Jacob said, no, 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 no. His name will not be Benoni. Bitterness, resentment, hatred, pain, anger. But his name will be Benjamin, which means son of my right hand. This is why I'm telling y'all mamas, stop being girlfriends. If you are a girlfriend, how can you tell your little girl not to be a girlfriend, huh? If God didn't change Jacob's name, he would have named his last son, Bitterness, Benoni. And he said, no, no, no. I remember what happened to me. I remember the struggle. I'm not going to name my son Benoni. Bitter, I'm going to name him the son of my right hand. So who told you you was a girlfriend, girl? I just wonder. Who told you that lie? Huh? Stop. That's why you don't have a husband. That's why you can't attract a husband. Because the prepared man... The Psalm 23 husband, Mr. Wonderful, Mr. Shepherd is looking for his wife and he can't find you because you're being a girlfriend. This is why you need this book. Run to Amazon and pick up this book. You need to read about not being a girlfriend. And my new book that's coming out, baby, uh-uh, I'm not answering to girlfriend. Uh-uh, no, I ain't no baby mama. Uh-uh. I'm not a girlfriend. I am a wife. Come on, somebody. I am not a girlfriend. I'm a wife. That is day three. Day. Oh, I'm this thing is so powerful. I, I told you, girl, God gave this to me. My book coming out soon. I've been a wife. You want to be a girl? Girl, I'm telling you. Mm -mm. Powerful. You hear me? Be sure to subscribe to uh, Jan Silson. Uh, <laughs> subscribe to that one. To study the Bible in one year is my other channel. Church girls want to get married to my mentorship. If you want more of this one on one, girl, me and you, mentorship program. You need it. You want to be delivered from being a girlfriend. You want to renew your mind from being a girlfriend. You want to become a wife and think like a wife. Girl, you need the mentorship. I love you, girl. I love you, girl. I love you. I got to go. I got to go. Have a good day. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Bye. Remember the journal. If you want it, it's $9.99. If you do not register for my mentorship program, if you re register for my mentorship program, this is included. But if you just want the journal alone, it's $9.99. I have two options. This is one of the options. I have another option. And then I'll decide over the weekend. Okay. I love you, girl. Bye. Mwah.